Hey, Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group. Today on our video blog, we're going to discuss with you how to handle if you receive a lowball offer on your home that you're trying to sell. All right, again, Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group. So again, today we're talking about the, what to do if you receive a lowball offer on your home that you're trying to sell. Before we do that, a reminder, if you're a home seller, check out our free home value report. If you're looking to purchase a home, we have our free MLS search tool for properties all over Southern California. All right, so you've received this low ball offer on your home, but before we go into some of the ways how you can deal with the low ball offer, something that I always tell our clients is make sure you respond to all the offers, even if they're low ball, even if it's $100,000, then you are actually willing to be able to accept. It's really important that you do that, no matter what the price is. And that's really a home selling must do for a multitude of reasons. All right. So first, like we said, always counter their offer, but stay close to your list price. That's the first option. You know, this will really show the buyer that you're a really strong negotiator and see how high they're willing to go and actually how serious they are as a buyer. And the next one, well, you know, if they come in really low, you can always politely decline uh, their offer. And that's something that we've done many times. You know, we just had one recently that was over a hundred thousand dollars less than the list price. And we just told them that the seller didn't feel comfortable responding to that offer. And 24 hours later, they gave us a, an offer at the full list price. So again, you know, being polite, being uh, helpful to the other agent, you know, really allowed us to be in position to be able to get the house sold. Now, if I would have been rude or standoffish, you know, the end result might have been different. The buyer might have felt that maybe, hey, you know what, maybe we don't want to deal with this seller at all. And at the end of the day, again, it's, we wanted to see, you know, how motivated really the buyer was and we didn't want to shut the door on them completely. So yes, obviously you don't want to be receiving a low ball offer on your house. Again, a lot of that can be avoided if you're priced right initially, but if you do, don't take it personally, keep your emotions in check. Remember you're trying to be able to sell a home. And so again, at the end of the day, it's really just a business decision. So if you have any questions about this or any other real estate uh, question, give us a call 818-396-3311, 818-396-3311.